Welcome back, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get massive sounding drums in a small room. Coming right up. If you're watching this, you know how difficult it can be to get massive sounding drums in a small space because let's face it, if the source isn't there and you try and record it and mimic it, it just doesn't quite fit. So what are some things that we could look into to help actually expand the width of our drum sound in a mix. This room that I track my drums in is 10 by nine by nine. Now, normally I just have a space pair of room mics and I have them up about seven feet in the air. And I, I just wasn't getting like a really big drum sound. It's kind of a challenge in a small room to make drums sound bigger than they are because the room itself isn't that big. So you do things like creating false rooms and adding a ton of reverb, which just ends up muddying up the bottom end of your drums. And it just actually makes it worse off than the recording was previously. I want to take you around and show you exactly where I decided to position my mics and something I should have done a long time ago. Let's get to it. <laughs> I actually remembered that there's a small closet off of this room. So I just had to move back a blanket, open the door and then open up the closet and then like shimmy my way in there. I'll show you why it was a little difficult, but uh, there's some pretty cool stuff inside the room that I think will help add some cool reflections and you know, some overall better sound to this room mic. Let's check it out right now. So what's inside the room? Well, this used to be an old closet and it kind of extends into the house, maybe another 10 feet but inside here is a bunch of old metal frames and stuff. Now I'm just gonna move this back here and behind here you can see the grill from the ribbon mic just up here. Now that's nothing fancy, it's just uh, an Apex 210B and I've got a matching set. I think they retail for like $150, but listen to this. So all these springs and stuff here are gonna add like some pretty cool stuff to it. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. We're out in the hallway now where I position the other microphone. You can just tell what it sounds like already. So there's a lot more room and I feel like it's gonna add a lot to this drum sound. The idea with this was to position it as far back as the one over in the closet and around the same height. Now, obviously you're gonna still run into phase issues because the sound actually has to work its way out into the hallway and then through the diaphragm and then back into your interface. I'm interested and curious to see how it adds more width. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you the before and after. I'll show you my settings and then I'll show you the difference between the old placement and the new placement of the room mics. Let's check it out. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you here is what my original room sound sounds like without any processing on it. Here it is here. Now, as you can tell, it's kind of like a small sound and really what's the point of having room mics in a small room if it doesn't add that extra width to your drum mix. Let's hear what it sounds on the new placements. Just balance these a little bit. Now, as you can hear, it's a lot wider sounding. So let's add on my plugins here to hear how that sounds. I believe that one is the hall. And then this one is the closet. and combine. Let's go back to the original. The new. Now let's hear that in a full mix. OK, 
Okay, that's kind of cool, but let's make a even bigger sounding room with these room mics here by adding some reverb. I went ahead and then I routed those into a reverb channel and then I'm using the Valhalla Vintage Reverb with the Fat Drums preset. And let's hear what that sounds like on its own. So we're going to turn it to here. Now let's put these in with it. Let's add it to a full mix. So that's one cool trick you can add to your arsenal to make your drums sound bigger, even if you're in a small room. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Cameron, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.